If you knew the New Schwenstein in the New Schwenstein castle meant New Swan Stone, would that make you want to stay to learn more about such a castle? It certainly caught our attention too, and we are to share some of its mysterious stories with you. Sit back as well delve into the mysteries behind New Schwenstein Castle, Germany. An unhappy owner? Sometimes we are at our best at the lowest point of life, that point where we have nothing to lose anymore. All that matters is the strength to keep hope alive and keep the fire of imagination burning. In King Ludwig II's reign, the New Schwenstein Castle was birthed at such lowest moments. As some historians suggest, he wasn't always a happy kid while growing up. His dad, Maximilian, an intellectual who undoubtedly held conservative with very traditional views, was a great king but wasn't a great dad. Ludwig II's life was an example of what happens when parents don't like each other that much. As a result of disaffection, they cared little for their children. King Maximilian and his wife, Princess Marie of Prussia, set unrealistic expectations on young little Ludwig. Such expectations left no room for failure in any way or form. This inevitably, of course, led to dashed hopes and broken self-esteem with the young lad. Ludwig's second shortcomings were met with severe beatings and harsh scolding from his father, which affected their relationship. He had a tough childhood with a strained relationship, devoid of any natural affection with both parents. It makes you wonder if all of these incidents led to his erratic actions, as you will find later on in this video. A Castle Born From Passion After his father's demise, events took a rapid turn when Ludwig was just 18. He had to ascend the throne with apparently no political training or experience. The father to mentor him was not there, but he had to take an oath of allegiance to the throne, its constitution, and rule. His court found him problematic, especially concerning his political decisions. Ludwig II's lack of interest in the mundane politics of the day led him to the trodden path of his grandfather, Ludwig I. He became a passionate advocate of the arts. Ludwig II, however, took his passion to a whole new pedestal by insisting on building castles and participating in every aspect of the process while abandoning his kingly duties. He was, as it were, following his heart. The new Schwenstein castle came to life after King Ludwig suffered a political blow after his defeat in the Seven Weeks' War. He was forced to sign a treaty to declare that Bavaria was no longer an independent state. The castle was a haven for the king to lick his wounds and retreat to his childhood fairy tale world and protected him. I will tell you more about that in a moment. We have more exciting facts and mysteries to share with you. Subscribe to our channel now to never miss any of these fun and informative uploads. The castle drove him insane. Eric Pevernagy, the writer, once said, Consumption can be a remedy against boredom and may convey a sense of fictitious power and supremacy. As it becomes an addiction, however, it might be cured. King Ludwig's extravagance, unfortunately, didn't have the proper medication to cure it. He was heavily indebted by the end of 1885 owing 14 million marks, and 7 million of that was invested in building the new Schwenstein castle alone. His spending habits often put him at odds with his ministers and cabinets. For more interesting facts like these, you can check out this video. 7 Interesting Facts About New Schwenstein Castle in Germany The situation was so bad that his creditors threatened to sue him at an open court, forcing his ministers to stop borrowing to fund Ludwig's projects. He was angered by his minister's position and threatened to dismiss all of them. Upon hearing the threats, they took the first step to remove him from power and appointed Ludwig's uncle as a regent of the realm. He called for resistance, but before he could garner the necessary support, he was arrested and taken to Castleburg as a prisoner. It was at this castle he was declared insane by von Gutten, a psychiatrist. A tough castle. If at this point you haven't watched the Black Panther movie, then you probably need to come out of whatever hole you are watching this video from. Just as a shield kept Wakanda from harm, the new Schwenstein castle would also seem to have an invisible shield surrounding it. Both world wars were the darkest part of European and world history. It was a fact that most iconic buildings around Europe weren't too sacred to be shelled into oblivion. For example, the Frauenkirche in Dresden, the Reichstag in Berlin, Yurikami Cathedral in Nagasaki, among others, 
were all victims of the Second World War air raids. Still surprisingly, the Neuschwanstein castle survived without a scratch. Due to its strategic location in the Alps, the castle was used as a hideout to save important arts by the Nazis from the continuous bombing of major cities around Germany. Can you relate to some of King Ludwig's castles? Do you think his experiences have had some impact on the mystery surrounding the castle? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Until next time, take care.